welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a festival inspired look which is really exciting because that means it's pretty much almost summertime. So hey, super exciting. Um, I'll be showing you the hair, the makeup and the outfit at the end of the video so be sure to stay tuned for that. I wanted to mention that this video is a collab with Care Bear 615 and she is Amazing. I've been creeping on her for a while, girl. <laughs> Honestly, her editing is so amazing. As you can see, she is absolutely stunning. She does a lot of outfit of the weeks and lots of fashion videos, lots of hauls, mix tutorials, and hair tutorials. She's also doing a festival get ready with me, so be sure to check that out. You will not regret it. She is fantastic. So go check out her channel and be sure to subscribe to her. And if you want to see how I got my look, then please keep watching. Per usual, I'm starting off with Urban Decay Primer Potion in the color Eden. And I'm just applying it all over my lid, all the way up to my eyebrow. You know, this is my favorite. And then I'm taping up the corners of my eyes to give us that effortless cat eye because nobody's got time to really just, you know, shape it out. For my Sigma Fall Softly Pal... Oh, I can never say that word. Sigma Fall Softly Palette. <laughs> I'm taking Kissing Cousins and I'm applying that right to my lid. It's just the most beautiful cream color. It's matte and it's super pigmented. So I'm always reaching for that color whenever I'm doing a cream colored look. It is just the best. To add a little depth to our crease, I'm taking Go Deep and I'm using a really light hand with this. I don't want the look to be too dramatic. I want it to be still light and airy on the top and all the drama to be on the bottom of my lower lash line. So, like I said, using a light hand, use that and just buff it into the crease with a big fluffy blending brush. Underneath my brow, I'm using that same color, Kissing Cousins, and I'm just gonna brighten that up and blend any <laughs> blend out any harsh lines. I just can't talk today, you know? We're just gonna go with it. Using a more dense tapered blending brush, I'm taking Go Deep once again and applying that right to the outside of my crease. And I'm using a bit more of a heavy hand. I wanted a little bit more depth in the crease because I know that I'm gonna be taking a lot of pictures if I were going to a festival. So I wanted my eyes to really pop in the pictures. So just, you know, blend it out. Don't go too crazy. I mean, I guess you can if you want to, but I'm just kind of keeping it a little bit natural up top. Now I have been dying to use Buddy Buddy all winter long, but there's no perfect look for me to wear it with until today. So I'm really excited to use it. I popped a little bit of it into my inner tear duct area. to had a nice little pop of color, but I didn't want it to overtake the eye. I just wanted it to be a nice subtle little pop of light pastel blue. So I just, I think it's amazing and it's super pigmented as well, of course. When you remove your tape, you'll have the perfect cat I already set up for you. For my liner today, I am using Wet n Wild's Gel Eyeliner, and I've been using this a lot lately. I think this is one of my new favorites once again. I had it for a while, and then I stopped using it. I started using felt tabs, and then I went back to it. It's just, you know, it's a back and forth kind of love. So anyways, I'm winging my liner out and making a nice dramatic cat eye. Pop a little mascara onto your lashes. And then if you feel like it, go ahead and throw on some false lashes. I love to just add a little bit of extra drama, but like I said, you can feel free to skip this step. And for some extremely annoying reason, my foundation portion of this video did not film, so this is another video that I did. I did the same exact foundation routine in this video, so if you click on the screen, it'll lead to that one. So go ahead and check that out if you want to see how I did my foundation for this video. But anyways, it's time to get to the fun, colorful part of the video. So I'm taking Elderberry and I'm applying this right to the under part of my lash line. And I'm pulling that right up underneath the winged out eyeliner that we did with the regular black eyeliner. So you'll have that purple line right underneath that. And then just extend it about, you know, not even halfway to your lower lash line. Now for this next color, I really wanted it to pop, so I'm using my Wet n Wild Ultimate Expressions Eyeshadow Palette. I'm taking this navy color and I'm applying that right into the very center of my lower lash line. So kind of making a gradient with that purple, kind of blend them back and forth to make them meld and look, like I said, gradient. And the final color that we're going to add to give it that beautiful gradient effect is this beautiful, oh, how many times can I say beautiful, <laughs> electric blue color. So I'm applying that right into my lower lash line on the inner part and, you know, feel free to go back and forth with it all. Make it meld really nicely. You don't want it to look like blue, navy, purple. You want it to look like blue, navy, purple, if you know what I mean, which I don't know if you do, but, you know, gradient. Just blend it out. And I had to add a little bit of sparkle to the look because I'm lacy, so I'm using my Urban Decay Glitter Gel Eyeliner in the color Midnight Cowboy, and I'm just putting that right over that blue color, right in my inner tear duct. 
And finally, for the lips, I wanted to do a really bright pop of color, so I'm using Heroin by MAC, and I'm applying that right all over my lips. And I just love this lipstick. It is friggin' beautiful. <laughs> So that is it for the makeup portion, let's go ahead and move on to the hair. Alright, so start off with your natural hair. I'm just combing through it a little bit because my hair gets really tangly at the bottom. I'm going to spray each section with hairspray. I'm using my Kevin Murphy hairspray here. And you know, comb it through so you don't get any crunchies because that's not cute. It's not cute at all. I'm taking about a one inch or a half inch curling iron, a pretty small one. And I'm just going to wrap it about two to three times and I'm going to move it up and down. This will give us more of an S curl rather than more of a spiral curl. So, you know, it'll give you more of waves rather than, you know, small, tiny spiral curls. So I bring it up and down maybe about like 15 times per curl and then I just wrap the rest of it and hold it there until it's almost too hot to touch so just hold it there until you think it's ready and then release it and then you have a wavy curl rather than like a curly sue curl I've been doing this a lot lately you can do this with any size curling iron it kind of gives you that nice beachy wavy effect so go ahead and continue this around the rest of your head I'm only going to show you these two curls because you guys get the gist once again, for some reason, I lost some footage and I missed the part where I messed all my curls up. But basically, just flip your head upside down after you're done curling it. Make sure they're all cooled and, you know, just mess up your curls. Throw some texture powder in there and just scrunch it up, back comb it, do whatever you gotta do to make it that messy, sexy look. For my headpiece, I'm using a necklace, you know. It's probably the easiest thing that you can find because you already have it. You don't have to spend a lot of money on a headpiece. So I'm just bobby pinning this into my hair and I'm going to tuck it underneath some hair so you don't see the bobby pins because that's my pet peeve. If you ever have bobby pins in your hair, make sure that they're not showing because nobody wants to see that. <laughs> so make sure everything's even. It's kind of tricky sometimes, but if you have a friend to help you, you know, that probably would be a help. Now go ahead and adjust it to the way that you like it. So I'm pulling some hair over the bobby pins and over the end of the necklace. I'm just kind of messing around with it and, you know, make it the way that you want it to look. So that is it for the hair portion. Let's move on to the outfit. I feel like a festival look is not complete without a million rings on your fingers. So go ahead and shove a bunch of rings on your fingers. For my necklace, I'm using one of my favorite ones. It's adjustable, so it goes shorter to long. It's from Forever 21. So like I said, you can make it really short or you can make it really long. I think it's perfect for any kind of look. So this is my full outfit all put together. My cardigan is from Goodwill. And my necklace is from Deb. They closed down though, so I got that for like half off, which is awesome. I got my purse from Goodwill. It's just adorable and lavender and I had to have it. My tank top is from TJ Maxx. My shorts are from H&M. And oh, I think that's all. Oh, wait, here we have my sunglasses. They're from Forever 21 as well, of course. So that is my look. This is what I wear to a festival, my hair, my makeup, everything like that. So thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget to check out Carrie's video. It'll be linked down below or it'll be linked at the end of this video as well. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you all next time. Bye.